Welcome to Transport Vlog. My name is Paul and this is another Chatswood dive site update video. I'm going to show you on-train footage from three different days in May and then one day in early June and then I'll show you some footage from the Mowbray Road Bridge. This footage was taken on the 9th of May on a train going towards Artarman. Immediately south of the Metro crossover junction, black posts appear between the northbound Metro and North Shore Line tracks. These posts are for a fence that will help protect metro trains from a derailment or other incident on the northbound North Shore line. A driverless metro train won't have a human pair of eyes at the front to manually stop a train if there was an obstacle on the track, so additional protection measures are necessary. Closer to the dive site, some fencing has already appeared. As I predicted in my last video, this concrete slab at the start of the dive site has now been filled with ballast. From here it changes to a concrete track slab for each track. You can now see the track slabs for both the southbound and northbound lines, complete with holes for the fastenings that will hold the track in place. About a quarter of the northbound track slab is complete, with the next quarter in the process of being constructed. From here, the construction of the southbound track slab is still in progress and the northbound line has the base slab only. More protective fencing has been added along the east retaining wall, but you can still see what is happening. The fencing on this side is almost complete. The only gap is for a future electrification staunchion. This drainage channel used to end here, but now it continues further. Work continues under the northbound North Shore Line Bridge, and you'll see that from the other direction shortly. This new drainage channel continues all the way to the end of the current construction site. Now for the return journey on the same day. Alongside the rail corridor near Brand Street, there are a few sleepers, lots of ballast, several construction vehicles, and these precast concrete walls that will probably be for a drainage channel. And these look like drainage pipes. I mentioned these materials as they will give us an indication of future work that will be taking place. Here is the new drainage channel that you saw earlier. Here is a better view of the work that is happening underneath this rail bridge. Lots of orange conduits for power or signalling cables and white ones for data or communication cables. More fencing has appeared over the southbound tunnel entrance on both sides. And more fencing on the west side of the northbound tunnel exit as well. And this fencing continues along the west retaining wall, so the views are not as good as before. You can see the formwork and rebar mesh more clearly now for the southbound track slab. And now for the northbound track slab. The 9th of May was the day after a weekend track possession, which is when all this extra fencing went in. You can now see the end of the two track slabs and the concrete slab that provides the transition to ballast and sleepers. This footage is 10 days later on the 19th of May on a train towards Artarman. At this end, not much has changed since the 9th of May. Work continues on constructing the northbound track slab. At this point, the southbound track slab is now pretty much complete, but it's hard to see in this direction, and the formwork and rebar mesh for the northbound track slab is now in place all the way to the tunnel exit. No changes beyond this point, so let's take a look in the other direction. The new southbound track slab is much more visible in this direction. The current end of the northbound track slab is coming into view now. Now another 10 days later on the 29th of May going towards Artarman. So as you saw from 10 days earlier, both track slabs are complete at this end. The northbound track slab 
previously finished here, but now it continues. On both the north and south bound track slabs, you can clearly see the holes for the future track fastenings. The northbound track slab now continues all the way to the northbound tunnel exit. That's pretty good progress in just 10 days. Although you can't see it, I'm pretty certain that the southbound track slab now runs all the way to the southbound tunnel entrance, which is now in view. No changes beyond this point, so let's take a look in the other direction. The northbound track slab is here, although the fence and retaining wall does make it harder to see. It looks like an electrification stanchion will go here. Notice the gap between the two track slabs. I'm guessing that this will be filled in. It looks like two further stanchions will go here on the east side and here on the west side. Coming into view now are the posts for the fence that will run between the southbound metro and southbound rail lines. Notice these round supports in the ballast for the future fence posts. On this side they continue all the way to Chatswood Station. This is on the 3rd of June and it now looks like all the track slab work has been completed. Almost all the materials that were on top of the track slabs have now been removed. And at the northbound tunnel exit, there is now one seamless track slab running all the way into the tunnel. Now one final view in the other direction, this time at normal line speed. Now on the Mowbray Road Bridge, the fencing and any remaining gaps are very prominent here. And you really notice the downhill gradient towards the tunnel entrances as well. This overhead wire gantry and this stanchion went in during late April. The gap between the two track slabs gets wider on the approach to the tunnels. This is much more obvious here compared to on the train. And you can see a little more of the southbound track bed than was possible from the train. On this side of the tunnels, this new drainage channel basically follows the old northbound North Shore line track bed. Looking into the Chatswood dive site construction site which is on the left, and I can see the start of a new services building. Here is another view of this new building. So that's Chatswood dive site, it's so close now to the tracks being laid. Will it be next week? Will it be next month? Well I'm not quite sure but as soon as I see some tracks I will be doing another video. So if you enjoyed this video do give it a like, give it a thumbs up, do leave a comment or question below, I'll do my best to answer any questions. Subscribe if you haven't done so already and also consider supporting me on Patreon, link in the description below. So I'd like to thank you for taking the time to watch this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.